Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to A Work in Progress. I have a lot of things to share with you today. I went to the bins yesterday and it was a really, really good shopping day. I got a lot of things for myself, some that I'm going to be trying to repurpose for other things and also for using for crafting. And I have a couple of things that I picked up for my daughter. And then I picked up some things that I'm going to be reselling. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you first the things I'll be keeping for myself, and then we'll get to the things that I will be reselling. So let's go ahead and get started. If you saw the thumbnail for this video, you realize that I literally filled my cart and then some. Now, what I do, I'll fill my cart, I'll empty it all out, and I go through everything and make sure that I really did want to get what I had in the cart. And there's one particular item here that I did end up picking, but then when I was going through everything and, and getting ready for the video, I thought, did I really need to pick that up? But anyway, I will show that to you when we get there. Um, first, these I think I'm going to be keeping for possible staging in my antique space. Uh, and if I change my mind about that, I'm going to be reselling these. These are Dansk Designs and really, really long, thin taper candles. Let's see if it says how long these are. And your friend is, and mine is right down here in the midst of everything. These are 20 inches long, these taper candles. Oops. And this one may have been broken, but I can't believe that the majority of these were still intact. So that was a pretty good find. Yep, I think he is broken. Uh, let me pick this up and show it to you because Lewis is trying to play with it. Now these are drapery ties, but or tie backs, but I thought I might be able to use the tassels if I cut them off. I could probably use these tassels in some kind of craft. I'm not quite sure what yet, and it would probably be, of course, more for the fall time, but I picked those up just to put away in my stash my craft stash for future use. Uh, let me see, picked this up for myself. It's just a very, you know, just a small green apron, but I thought this would be good for use when I'm working out in the yard for, you know, your sh the little, um, what is that, the little trowel and, and that sort of thing and my gloves and that. So pick that up. Uh, <laughs> I haven't tried these on, so I'm not sure these are gonna fit me or not, but luckily for the price that I pay thing, for things at the bins, I can go ahead and try. And I do hope they fit because I really do like them. It's either a, I think it's a really deep, oh no, Lewis, no, I, come on, I haven't even had a chance to wash these yet. Um, a really deep navy and white striped pants with real billowy legs, which I like. And then I hope that I'm gonna be able, oh, they are. Okay, I thought these were just folded over at the uh, the bottom, but it looks like they're deliberately done that way and then tacked. And Lewis is chewing on a pair of pants. <gasps> Lewis, no sir, uh-uh-uh. No, actually it's a rubber band. He has a thing for rubber bands. Say hi to everybody. Okay, down you go. Okay, oh, he's especially feisty today. This is what he was going after, the rubber band on these cute little pink boots. And I'm gonna clean them up, cut off the little strays and that sort of thing, but I have a thought on a craft to do with these. That's gonna be a little while in the coming, but pick those up for that. Uh, another pair of just relaxed pants for me to wear around the house. Nothing particularly exciting but comfortable. I found three belts that I want to try and incorporate. If you remember, I actually have it still here, this vase that I picked up um, that I wanted to put this brown leather strapping around. I've already started to mark off, you might be able to see or not, started to mark off where I wanna put the strapping, but I thought I could also use this really pretty blue belt and whoops and then i found that which i like the color on that 
And maybe if I did, see how that kind of goes together, I thought, and do the tan on this side and the tan on that side. So this is a, a not a real leather, a faux leather. And then the canvas and faux leather. I thought that might be a nice touch around a vase. I have so many crafts now since my daughter and I went to that show of things that I have, ideas that I have in my head. Oh, let me see. I am running out of so much room here. I uh, picked up some more candles just to stage things in the booth. Picked up this container of shredded foam. And initially I picked this up because I thought I would use it for packing when I ship out orders. But I'm going to be using it, I think, with those pink boots um, to stuff inside of the boots. So I was happy to pick that up regardless of how I use it. Hi, get over there. Uh, I just picked this up because I thought it was a really, really pretty bottle stopper. And if I do ever find a pretty clear bottle that's missing the stopper, Hopefully this will be a, a nice fit because I think this is just, just beautiful. I found three uh, plate stands that I'll be putting away for use up in my antique space. A bar of unopened and unused Jersey Shore handmade soap from the Lebanon soap company and what is this let's see i don't know what this fragrance is supposed to be it just smells like soap it doesn't really have a fragrance to me and and initially this is nice initially it said um, proceeds of this bar build a future for summer and uh, oh for summer an adorable girl with down syndrome oh that's nice so that, so initially the purchase of that bar, um, proceeds would go to summer. This little guy I picked up, I thought originally I would just put him in the booth as is, but I'm going to try and do something with him, um, with some flowers or something in the back of him. These I found, it says De devilish uh, dilemmas, match box trivia. 80 dilemmas that will have even the most decisive people questioning themselves. So if you've ever ordered anything from me, you usually get, whoops, you get a trivia a question, a, a card or two in them. I just like to put them as a little something, but these I think will be fun to put in as well. Let's see here. Which, oh, oh gosh. Okay, the, oh, I, I see the dilemmas now, okay. Okay, <laughs> which, I just chose this at random, all right? Which would you choose, to have four arms and two legs, or two arms and four legs? Hmm, I would probably go with the four arms and two legs. I just think I could get so much more done if I had four arms and four hands to go along with those arms. found an unopened container of Spanish moss. And that'll go in my craft stash. Uh, just, it's just a journal. I'm not gonna use it for journaling though. Uh, when I put things up in my antique space, I number them. I have a book that I, I put the number in, the very short description of the item and then how much it was listed or how much I'm selling it for. And then as things sell, I go ahead and mark them out of there. And um, I have so many things that I have had up in the booth now and that luckily have sold and that I'm adding to that I'm kind of running out of space in that initial book or journal. So I picked this up so that when the first one is empty, I'll have a backup one. Don't forget, I almost, I almost forgot. Uh, make sure you watch to the end of the video because I always ask you to leave a comment down below and let everyone know what your favorite find was from today's haul and I will let you know what my favorite find is as well. These I picked up not for my Violet because I can't brush her. She has no fur, but this is brand new and it's a nice comb. 
or brush for your dog and then you and then when you pop it again the brush goes inside leaving the fur out here so how easy is that to clean off that brush well i picked this up for my friend rhonda that maybe she can use it on her little dog dexter now these i did pick up for violet though it's a brand new pair of nail clippers but just keep it between ourselves that she doesn't know that I got these because she hates having her nails clipped. So it has to kind of be a like a it's almost like a, a, a surprise attack on her. But I try and give her treats in between each clip to make it less um, traumatizing for her. Okay. Next um, video or two ago, I showed you a rolling dog food bin that I picked up for my daughter, but instead of putting food in it, because she already has one for her cat, we're, we are going to put dirt into it. So it'll be easier for, for her to roll the canister out of her storage closet rather than having to lift up a bag of dirt every time she wants to pot something. But I failed to pick her up any kind of scoop for it. And the day that I was there and I got the food bin, there were a ton of scoops of course, I go back yesterday, no scoops to be found, but I did find this, so she can still use this for that same purpose. And then I found one large marble all by itself and a couple of dice. And those I put together, I have some jars, some mason jars. I'm trying something new and I'm just filling a jar with marbles, filling a jar with dice, uh, filling a jar with buttons and trying to sell them like that as a kind of a ready-made collection. These I'm going to be using to make a chain. I got a couple of other things that I'll be showing you in just a, uh, just a few minutes that I'm going to need to hang from uh, the ceiling at the antique space but I don't want them to be really heavy so I just happened to come across and these are shower curtain rings but they make the perfect chain uh, lightweight and they'll be able to hold up what I need for them to hold up this I picked up I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this for myself I'll see maybe if my daughter wants it for outside but you know it kind of spirals like this and then you hang it outside and the light catches it and it just twirls it around. I've seen these before when they have different colors and they might be holographic and such. Um, but this one, as you can see, is just plain wood, but I still liked it anyway. Oh my goodness. When I finish showing you everything that I'm going to keep, I'm going to have to pause the video, clear this stuff off, and then show you the things I'm going to be reselling because I really did pretty good yesterday. And I have completely run out of counter space. One of the things that I saw when my daughter and I went to that um, vintage market, they had taken, some folks had taken little, this is a creamer, and here's the, the sugar bowl. They had taken them and made little floral arrangements in them, and they were so, so pretty. So I thought, well, I could do that, right? And look at the handle on this one. It's so pretty. I wish that this one had something like that on it as well, but because they were a set, I went ahead and got the both pieces, and we'll see how that turns out. Oh my gosh, I got a lot of stuff. This I initially picked up to resell, and then I thought, you know what? That might be a beautiful piece for inside of my daughter's kitchen, because she has a wall when you first go into her kitchen, and you look straight ahead, there is a completely blank wall and we've been trying to come up with something to put up there. So I thought this might be the perfect piece because we're going to be doing just to the right of that. So here's this wall here and then you come abruptly to that wall that this piece may go on. But right here where we're thinking about doing a basket wall and I did find some baskets for her yesterday. So I think that would be a nice kind of play off of this larger piece and then the baskets. So that was one of them. And these are the other two. So we'll have to play around with those and see what she thinks of that. This I'm not sure if we're gonna end up using or not, but as you can see, it is a, 
what is this a an 18 inch uh, grapevine wreath it's sort of an oval shape it was brand new it was never used we'll see if we end up making some kind of wreath for her front door with this or not if not I'm gonna go ahead and try and sell it and then you know me and my crates <laughs> this was the first thing I spotted when I went in yesterday I love it and it actually is for blue moon beer and I'm a huge fan of Blue Moon Beer. So I was really, really excited to find this crate. Plus, it helped me carry a lot of things, too. A few more things I want to share with you that I will be keeping. I just found this random flower. I like the colors on it. Let's see what I can do with that. I like this little basket. I think it was there the week before and I decided not to get it, but I saw it again yesterday and I thought, it's not bad, I like that. And in the meantime, before it hopefully will sell up at the booth, I can put some kind of, I don't know, some things in it just for, um, for it to be a, a nice holder. Then the last thing, I think this is the last thing. I'm not gonna show you all of these, but it's a whole bag of button covers which I don't know if folks use button covers anymore or not, but I thought I could use these for crafting. If these, if this would look really cute, even on maybe, you know, after I do one of these and just add a little something onto it, like uh, there are little, there's an apple, no, is that apple or cherry? And then down at the bottom, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, well, I'll just pull this one out real quick. Uh, there's a watermelon. There's just all kinds of things in here. Flags. Um, what is this? Fish. Just tons and tons of different things. Pumpkins. So this will be fun to go through. Oh, this one has butterflies in it. This will be really fun to go through and see what I can use. Some more fish to use for crafting. So that is everything that I'm going to be keeping. So if you give me a couple of minutes, go, let me go ahead and clear some of this stuff off and then we'll get to the things that I will be reselling. So hang on, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Thank you for sticking that out with me. I found a couple of North Face items yesterday and I haven't found North Face in literally forever. And it really does pay off to kind of dig while you are at the bins. Somebody left behind this beautiful North Face backpack. And other than a couple of like stains here on the front of it, which I'm gonna try and wash out, um, it's in really, really good condition. It's nice and clean inside. And this I'm gonna be uh, sending into the Real Real because North Face is one of the brands that they will take. Another North Face that I found, here we go. Another clothing item, and it's this kind of windbreaker jacket in a beautiful blue color, perfect, perfect condition. So this will be going to the real real as well. And this next item is literally going to pay, if it sells, pay for the entire trip. And it is this KitchenAid slicer and dicer stand, stand mixer attachment. I couldn't believe it was just sitting there. In fact, the box was open and people were just passing it by. So I'm glad they were. Ah, come on now. And I'm not sure that it was ever used. That's what it looks like, oops, inside. And as they say, um, they call it a good resell, resale. Now what is that they call? Sell through rate. Um, they, they're listing for about $45 on eBay, and I believe there were 30-something that were currently listed and over 90 that had sold. So I think that's a good sell-through rate, uh, but I'm not sure I'm going to be listing it on eBay. I might just go ahead and put this on Facebook Marketplace at, say, maybe $30. I mean, that way... Um, I'll still get a return, good return on my dollar, and somebody will get a really good deal. Found some Tupperware, which I was happy to find. This must have been at a yard sale for $5. Nobody wanted it, so off to the bins it went. And now this. Is this for bread? I think this is a bread box, isn't it? So it's that really pretty blue color with the white lid on it. And I'm thinking this kind of 
wavy bottom helps to keep like air going through underneath of the bread. I don't know. You guys tell me. If this is not a bread box, tell me what it is. Uh, this is another thing that was just sitting on the top of the bin. So happy. And it's this uh, really vibrant green uh, Berol. B-E-R-O-L. Manufacturer. Um, pencil sharpener and I did test it out so when you flip this little lever it suction cups makes this thing suction cup onto a flat surface and it does work uh, so that'll be going up to the booth oh I got an itchy nose I'm so sorry I picked up a couple of bags uh, well more than a couple three it looks like for the booth this one I picked up because look at the embroidery on this bag it is absolutely beautiful and it's in very, very good condition. There are a couple of little straggly um, threads which I'll have to pull in from the back side, even the handle. Absolutely beautiful bag. Then, next bag I got is this beautiful weathered leather bag. Um, let me see. Don't see a manufacturer on it. And I didn't pick it up for the brand or anything. I picked it up for the look. I just thought it was a gorgeous kind of slouchy bag there. Isn't that pretty? So we'll be putting that up in the booth. And then the last bag I picked up is a vintage bag. And you know I do love the vintage bags. It's this white. I don't know what this is. Some kind of plastic or something. I've got to clean it up a little bit. And it needs a repair. Right here you can see the chain. And it also needs a repair on the inside, which will be an easy repair. It just has to be glued back down. Uh, this was made in Hong Kong, if you can see that. Now the inside of it is a little stained. <laughs> Maybe we'll just say stained. Maybe what I can do... Oh, you know what? This is going to come out really easily. I think what I'm going to do is take this lining out, wash the lining, and then re-glue the entire lining. I think that'll make it a much more desirable piece. Now, this is the piece that I said I, I picked up, and I'm not really sure why I got it. Is it just, no, it's not just, but it's or the set of three angels. And I'm assuming there's some kind of globe that was supposed to go in here. I'm not, I'm not sure what it was, but I was at the Dollar Tree today and I'm just thinking back, they had these round globes there. I don't know if one of them would fit in here or not. Now they did have a hole in them, um, but I think you could easily sort of work around that hole and maybe make sort of like a kind of a terrarium inside of this uh, plastic uh, globe and then set it right in there. I'll just have to go back, take this with me and make sure that that's going to fit. Uh, this I'm going to put away for the Halloween booth, but it was absolutely just adorable. And picked up just a small scripted faith sign. Not even sure that's called a sign. Uh, this is a vintage. Who remembers these? Remember these that you used to keep all of your keys in? And I, I, I had one of these a long time ago, and it sold. So there is a desire for these. And then i got this wallet. I'm not sure who the maker is on this. Um, but I thought the orange color was just kind of different. I have to clean it up a little bit with some leather cleaner. Uh, yep, I don't see a, a maker in there. Or in there but it has all the compartments that you need and just a really pretty unusual I think orange color and then this I was really happy to find and a vintage acrylic tissue box holder look at how pretty that is that's gonna be going up in the booth and then I think the last thing that I have to show you I found two of these these reminded me of things that my daughter and I saw when we were at that vintage show. Now, I found the two of them empty. They did not have glass in them, but when I was at the Dollar Tree today, I found these two glasses that seemed to fit in there pretty well. Now, I don't know about in your area, but around here in Raleigh, the Dollar Trees 
are not a dollar anymore. There are very, very few things that you can find there anymore that are a dollar. Um, in the more large Dollar Trees, there are some items that are up to $5, maybe even more. So these glasses that I found to put in here were $1.25 a piece. Uh, but even at $1.25 a piece, um, I think I can easily get uh, 12 not 14 I would say $12 uh, a piece for these up at the antique space. Okay, so that is everything, everyone. That, that was a lot. That was a lot. My favorite, oh, darn, I put it away. But my favorite is going to be that crate because I got a thing for crates. I don't know what it is, but I also have a thing for Blue Moon Beer. So that, that kind of hit two of my things. So please, down in the comment section down below, let everybody know what your favorite find was from today's haul. Um, I will see you again in my next video, but until then, I hope you all take very, very good care of yourselves, and thank you so much for watching, and bye for now.